Hey y'all, it's Bill. Well, I'm gonna head out to Perdido this morning. Actually, it's it's actually afternoon. Good grief. I didn't realize it was 12, it's 12.35. And uh, it's been raining all morning here and I decided it just, just eased up and I checked the radar and it looks like we're going to have some light rain over the next couple of hours, but uh, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be so bad that I can't get out and uh, do some video while I'm walking along the beach or something like that out there. So well, as you can see. It is still really cloudy and rainy and threatening looking. I don't know what's gonna happen. These storms come off the Gulf, Gulf of Mexico and the one that's already passed through this morning literally just came up off onshore from the Gulf and came on shore about Mobile and swept across the uh, this area, the panhandle of Florida and you know, those things can develop so quickly. And I don't know if we're going to see any additional storm activity or not, but it's certainly dreary looking. That's all right, because I love this kind of weather. I love the rainy, cold, and damp uh, weather. And right now it's 79 degrees, so that's not really cold, but it certainly is wet. Although, as you can see on the windshield, it's not raining. A sprinkle here and there. We're turning left on Blue Angel Highway. I'm on Highway 98. And we're going to go south on Blue Angel. Almost to Perdido Key. One of these days the United States is going to have to get with the program, at least in this part of the country. It may not be true everywhere, but our traffic light system is so antiquated. It's just hard to believe you have to sit through a red light when there's no traffic coming either direction, uh, cross traffic coming. And so you just have to sit there and wait. It's a waste of three to five minutes just sitting there. They need to put in roundabouts. That's one thing we loved about living in the UK for five years was the roundabouts. You literally could leave your house and never have to come to a full stop. It doesn't matter what time of day or night you come through there. You just go right through the roundabout and you're on your way. You don't have to stop at a stoplight and wait and wait and wait because some engineer, some city engineer decided to, uh, you know, put a timer on, on certain times of the day and night. It's just... It's ridiculous what we have to put up with here. Okay, we are now, uh, these condos that you see ahead of us here are all, speaking of roundabouts, look at here, they put a roundabout in. Nice. 
Somebody up ahead of me doesn't know how to drive in one, but oh well, he'll learn, <laughs> maybe. So these are all waterfront uh, condos on the left, and they are expensive and nice. I'm just going to go down a little further. I'm going to kind of get away from the, I know the, uh, the areas of the beach here that if there are people out there, which I don't think there will be today because it's one of the reasons I came today. If it was bright and sunny and 85 degrees, I wouldn't want to be out there just because of the, the huge amount of traffic. cars in this parking lot. I have to be super careful when I'm driving because um, of being disabled. Part of my disability is that my neck is almost completely fused and I don't want to uh, get in a situation where I can't turn my head and look in the directions that I need to go. Boy, this is going to really challenge the stabilization on this GoPro. I'm thinking it might be easier if I take my shoes off. But boy, that feels good. This white sand is just so soft. And unless I step on a broken bottle or something like that I should be fine this feels so nice a lot of wave action this morning or this afternoon I look back where we came from. Okay, well, I had to go back to my truck because I left my batteries <laughs> for my GoPro. And I was, I was down to 6% and really needed to get that. Get, I've got two extra batteries for it. I haven't had this thing very long. I bought a GoPro 10 instead of a, the latest version, which is 12, I believe. Uh, simply because there really aren't enough improvements in the 11 or the 12, for me at least, to justify spending. Well, I bought this for 249, I believe, and the new ones are 400.
listening a little bit of lightning out here. You can certainly hear that rolling thunder. I just saw the first flash of lightning just now, so... Oh well, if I get hit, that's it. So I'm slowly, in my grandpa fashion, making my way back out to the beach. This is definitely storm surf. It's not normally like this. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to come out here. The waves are amazing. I just, I could sit and watch them all day long. But I'm not a fan of coming to the beach because of my issue with skin cancer. It's just not worth the risk Yeah, nice. That water is, it's a little cool, a little bit cool. It, it, it feels about like um, water coming out of the tap at home. It's not, uh, it's not warm and I can't really say it's cold, but it's nice. Okay. Just checking. There are my shoes. I'll make sure I get those before I go back. All right. Well, I'm just going to go for a little walk. I didn't bring Luna today because I don't think they allow dogs on the beach here. They might in certain places, I just don't know. And rather than risk getting in trouble, I just left her at home. I'm going to turn around and head back.
I'm not used to this walking. One of the reasons uh, that I came to the beach, I've been wanting to go walk, but I've got two artificial knees. I had the first knee replaced in 2016, the second one in 2019, and that was what caused me to have to retire because uh, neither knee turned out very well. I've got a video about that, my regrets on having two total knee replacements. But I have fallen twice, face first, on the concrete, at home, thankfully, and not out somewhere. But when you fall on the concrete, you end up with a traumatic brain injury, concussion, sometimes permanent damage. But it makes you uh, fearful of falling again. When you're unsteady on your feet, and I am, I definitely have to have a, a walking stick or something to give me a little bit of confidence. Um, but the nice thing about the beach is if I do fall, I mean, I've got soft sand here. I mean, how, how much could I hurt myself? I, I just don't know. I don't think I could hurt myself very much. I feel safer on this uh, on this soft, nice, white sand than I do walking around the neighborhood. So that was one of the reasons. Rain stripping off the front of my brim. <laughs> um, anyway, I like this kind of weather though. It's it's coming down pretty good right now. I, I'm getting soaked my shirt. You may can see part of it. I'm going to switch it around so you can see the, uh, the waves. We're not far, maybe 50 yards to my shoes. And then once I've retrieved those, we will uh, We'll head back. I'm going to stop here just a minute. Now the waves are breaking a lot further out than normal. Usually they don't they don't develop and break out there that far out. It's probably 50 yards out. But to me the most awesome thing about the beach happens when there's a storm. Oh, we'll head back up the hill. A little bit of a hill to the uh, condo that we're parked next to and uh, I have no idea what this is going to look like with the raindrops on the, the lens and everything but this is the only way you learn Yeah, you know, it sounds 79 degrees or 80 degrees seems like it's quite warm weather until you get wet. <laughs> and uh, let me check and see if the temperature has dropped at all. No, it's still 79. God, I feel like I'm climbing Mount Everest but there's really not much to it it's just the sand is so deep i almost need snowshoes to get through this 